So my recommendation is to do stem cells, leave the U.S., particularly go to RMI, go to daveasprey.com slash RMI for info on the whole body thing, including stem cells in the brain that actually work for the first time. That's been profound for me. But if you're in the U.S., you can do exosomes or you can do V-cells, V-S-E-L-S. Those work, they're safe, and they're much more cost effective. Here in town, Dr. Ann Shippey in Austin does V-cells, I believe, And there are a few other people like Dr. Todd who really invented V-cell therapy in the U.S. So this is a kind of hybrid that's somewhere between doing stem cells. The problem in the U.S. is that stem cells come from umbilical cords of all different qualities. And the people who make the stem cells in the U.S. are not allowed to expand the stem cells. When I go to RMI, they take one umbilical cord and they expand it. And so they can test the hell out of it. And you can use it over and over and over. And your risk is limited to one person who's extensively tested. Very high quality stem cells as well because they choose a healthy umbilical cord.